She was just three weeks away from walking down the aisle when Nikki McCowan went vanishing. It's been just over a decade since she disappeared, but her family has not given up hope that one day Nikki will come home. Michelle McCown Luster refuses to give up on finding her baby sister Nikki. I feel lost without her. It's just not the same. From birth, the two inseparable. Oh, that's Bert and Ernie right there. Until that fateful day on July 22, 2001, Nikki went to wash some clothes at a laundromat in Richmond, Indiana, but never came home. The bride to be vanished without a trace. The next day, Michelle went to Nikki's job to see if she showed up for work. There's a, no, I fell to the ground. That's when my oral stopped. For the last 11 years, Michelle and her family have searched for answers in Nikki's disappearance. I always hope she's still alive, but honestly, knowing my sister, I know that if, she's still, if she was still alive, she would have done contacted one of us if there was a way. A former Trotwood police officer, Tommy Swint, was a person of interest in McCowan's disappearance. But before McCowan's family could put their fears to rest, Swint killed himself after being indicted for killing a Dayton woman. If Tommy Swint was still here, my family may have closure. Yet even coming to that realization is still hard. I know she wants me to live, but it's just so hard. Michelle spends hours online. She even created a Facebook page for Nikki. She prays someone out there knows something and will speak up, giving her family the closure they so desperately need. I dedicate my life to find her so I can get my life back to Nikki's daughter was nine years old when her mother went missing. This Sunday, the family will hold a Stop the Violence rally walk in honor of Nikki. It will be held at the laundromat where she went missing. That address is on your screen as well, and it will be in Richmond, Indiana. For more information, you can go to abc22now.com.